What's up, everybody? Coach Eric here at Awesome U Sports, Myers Martial Arts, coming at you uh, right after the holiday break for Christmas, and we're back in action, and we're gearing up for the new year for 2020. The Roaring Twenties are upon us, guys. Uh, it's crazy. Um, pretty awesome. Kind of changing into a new decade here and setting new goals and new adventures in life and uh, looking forward to what's coming to to uh, all of our programs as well. Well, today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about goal setting. And goal setting is something that I work on a lot. Um, I'm not the best at it on a lot of times, and that's why I have mentors and coaches just like you guys do. And so I want to come at you guys a little bit today and, and talk to you guys about 10 areas of goal setting that you may want to consider. Uh, and I don't like New Year's resolutions because almost everybody, nobody does them. I think you should just set goals on a yearly basis and then keep progress throughout the year, uh, progress checks, and constantly update your goals. Because if you achieve or blow past them faster than you thought you would, then you have to set a new goal. But if you just have a New Year's resolution to get fit, uh, it's kind of benign and very um, vague. Be specific, okay? So there's some areas. I'm not going to give you a lot of you know things to do as far as like what to do and stuff, but I want to kind of go through with what my coaches kind of bring to me and uh, what we do and what we talk about and I'm gonna give you 10 areas and I think you should sit down and map out these 10 areas of your life and try to set your goals whether you're a kid or whether you're an adult uh, in any of our programs or just a friend of ours okay some things that you should be focusing in on so, so here we go number one is gonna be your personal goals uh, basically what do you want like wants gains lifestyle that kind of thing okay uh, hobbies, fitness, training, uh, whatever you're into. What do you want out of it? You know, be a little selfish here is what I was told. Uh, the next one's going to be your family goals. Well, you know, how do you want to uh, inter be interact and set with your family? Do you want to have date nights regularly or do you want to have, you know, outings with your kids? Uh, things like that. Number three is going to be your spiritual goals. Now, some of you may want to put that back up to number one. I understand. These are just in no, no particular order. So, but spiritual goals, you know, getting closer with your faith. You know, if, if you go to church on a regular basis, you want to get into more Bible studies or whatever spiritual studies you're into, or just want to connect to, you know, above. Sit down, put some time, carve some time out, do that for yourself. Um, next one is going to be your financial goals. It's things that you want to achieve financially, savings. Uh, numbers in your business, things like that. You know, dollar signs. What do you want to do? How do you want to make it? Do you want to increase? Add that to your list of goals. Uh, business goals. If you happen to be like myself and you own a business or run a business or even work for someone else, you can actually focus on business, okay? Uh, as an entrepreneur, I focus on developing my business uh, in various areas like I look for where the problems are in my business try to band-aid those up fix those and then we start growing from there uh, setting revenue goals uh, setting client numbers staffing information and, and goals maybe you can do the same if you work for someone maybe you focus in on how can you make that business better because if you become more valuable you know go back to number four that probably grows you become more valuable then therefore you end up making more too uh, then number six is going to be community goals. How do you want to give back? You know, I have a list, a laundry list of stuff I'm going to be doing this year. 2020 is going to be crazy trying to find out new ways to help out our community here in Madisonville. Uh, but anyway, you know, what do you want to do to be able to give back? Don't just say you want to do it. How are you going to do it? Plan it. Okay. Uh, next one is your education. You know, what do you want to achieve? What do you want to learn? What do you want to do? What do you want to become? Through education. Seek it, plan it, do it. Number eight, uh, this is probably one of the best ones, is uh, rewarding yourself. Fun and rewards. If you achieve a goal or you achieve um, a, a certain milestone there, maybe you should get a reward for doing that. We do that with our students. We do that you know, with kids in our life. We do it with their dog when he does a good boy. Why don't we do it with ourself? You know? Reward yourself sometimes. You do deserve it when you put the work in. Hard work pays off. Okay. Another one they brought up in my my training that I was interest I was doing earlier was your home, and this is hard for me. Uh, this one was tough because I really want a dream home, 
but I forgot that I live in my dream home, but we need to make it our sanctuary. And so maybe you don't necessarily need the brand new house, but maybe you need to make where you currently live your dream home. Uh, bring it up to your standards, okay? That's kind of the goal for 2020 for us. Uh, is going to bring that into a high level of, uh, of understanding for us. Number 10 is the hardest one, but this is one that my coach, uh, Mr. Spires, actually, he, I think I've never heard this from anyone else that I've been involved with, and this is a great one. Removals. What do you need to remove from your life that makes you hold yourself back a little bit? Maybe a lot of it. Okay, what are you doing that prevents you from your next level? What are you doing that this just could be this mitch, just the whole thorn, you know? It could be small, it could be sugar. That's what it has been for me. One of them, I'm out, sugar's out. 2020, I'm trying to kill it. Okay, that's a removal. Maybe it's a toxic relationship. It's okay to get rid of that. You gotta learn to remove to be able to move forward. Okay, you cannot grow good vegetables in a weeded garden. You have to get the weeds out. So go get the weeds, pull them out. That's hard. That's up to you. But anyway, I'm here for you guys. I'm all for you guys reaching all your goals in 2020. Uh, Myers Martial Arts, awesome youth sports, Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Krav Maga, kickboxing and fun. We have all kinds of great summer camp coming up, after school activities for kids. We're a fantastic place for the whole family. Uh, if you're interested in anything we have to offer, Reach out, comment below. We'll get back to you. Have a great 2020. Put your 2020 goggles on. Let's have 2020 vision, guys. See you guys on the flip. Later.